So in this very quick tip, I'm gonna show you how to create a J or an L cut to fix an edit where we need to cut the audio and the video at a different time. So I'll show you what's happening here in this tutorial video. So essentially my mouse um, at the moment is over here in the, the video. And I had to cut out some of the audio because I ummed or ahed or something like that. So as the mouse is moving up to the right here, when I've got it coming up to here, and I fix the audio, it jumps back down. So I get this little jump of the mouse. So I wanna fix that essentially. And I need to keep the audio on this audio track because that's continuously nice. So what I'm gonna do is grab the selection tool first of all, and just double click on these two clips to open it up. And then I'm gonna to jump to the trim tool, which allows me to click and trim both these clips at the same time. So essentially what I'm looking for when I'm trimming these clips is a point where the mouse is in roughly the same spot. So watching where the mouse is and that it's close to that window menu, which is where I'm heading towards in this tutorial. And now you can see, I don't get that jump. I've just edited just the video cut. So it's happening after the audio. And now my mouse jumps a little bit, but we'll get away with that. Okay. One other thing we could do to kind of refine this a little bit more is to use the comma and period on the keyboard just to nudge that a little bit more. And we can just keep sliding around that playhead as we nudge it, just to see that that's in the right spot. And that actually looks pretty good now by nudging that clip using the trim tool. So that's a quick tip for fixing errors. This will work with a lot of different clips where you're editing dialogue, particularly in an interview situation where you want to cut from the interviewer to the interviewee and show a response or something like that, but you wanna keep that dialogue continuous. And then also I use it a lot in these tutorials that I make to fix the little ums, ahs and errors that I make as I'm preparing these video tutorials for you guys.